Hey everyone, welcome back to Live Well With You Well. Today we have a 20 minute dumbbell up body workout. It's going to be 5 exercises, 4 rounds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. The 5 exercises are all different exercises which work the upper body, making our muscles move, get strengthening our muscles, get our muscles bigger. Um, so it's really good, it's going to be a really effective workout. So get dumbbells, set dumbbells wherever you can, whatever weight, or just get two pieces of equipment from the kitchen from the what you have, wherever, where it's a bit equal weight, and let's get straight to it. So the first exercise is going to be, it's going to be a lap row. The lap row is going to be working the back muscles, something that is challenging during hip workouts. It's going to be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, I'll show you. So keep the legs nice and straight, arch at the back, not arch at the back, straight in the back, but you don't want to be arching the back, you want to have that shoulder base nice together, and the dumbbells in front of you, and I'm rowing to the back. See how my back isn't arched or isn't in the other arch? It's nice and straight, so it's not affecting the lower back. Let's do this. We're going to go three, two, one. So lat rows. So sticking that bum out whilst we do it, that will help. So we're not arching, we think about putting our shoulder blades together. That's what helps with that positioning. This keeps up. Nice. Today's interest. Next one is going to be a decline, a decline bench press. And I think where's the bench press? Well, it's technically a four floor press. What we're going to happen is get both dumbbells, lie on the floor, and the difference between a normal, we can do a decline, so we are lifting up our bums. So our bums are coming off the floor, our lower back's coming off the floor, our head and shoulders are on the ground. I'm going to press the dumbbell nice and slow, squeezing, a few seconds on the way down, hold it and up. Bring those elbows close to the body, not too wide out. So close to the body. Engaging that chest every time we squeeze up. Nice. Down we go. Next we have an arm press. An arm press, it's just a shoulder exercise. So instead of doing the normal, Shoulder press, we add in an extra little fun range of movement. So we start here, the dumbbells facing us, we do a shoulder press, we turn and press. Come back into normal position. So starting position, the dumbbells facing us, we turn it out and press. Nice. up. Tough one that. Very tough exercise. Next is going to be dumbbell press up. So like a press up but instead of our hands will be on the floor, our hands will be on the dumbbell. You may see my dumbbells are actually different quantities of weight but it's the same way. So next one, on the ground, in a press-up position. If you can't do it, just do a normal press-up or kneeling press-up, but you can hold some bells whilst pressing up. That's a way to progress for your normal press-up. Or do more basic, a kneeling press-up. You do a kneeling press-up with this, keeping those elbows close to the body, we can do five seconds left. Tough. Nice. Last is going to be working the bicep, the hammer curl. So obviously the chest exercises obviously work the chest, but in a slight bit of the triceps. Um, 
So yeah, we're going to finish off with the hammer curl. But hang, dumbbells and both hands. This is our first round of this. First round complete, let me see. So bring the dumbbells up, bell. So bring the dumbbells to the chest, holding, bring down, keeping that upper arm, the bicep, nice and still, engaging the bicep. And we come up, and nice and slow on the way down. The dumbbell by the thigh. Nice. So that's round one done. Round one done. We have three more to do, exactly the same. Activating the muscles. It's really focus on form and not first spot speed. It's not about how many reps you do, it's about the quality of form. Every single rep is important because that's how we're going to make it effective. Lap row. You might put the shoulder blades together. That will help you with the straight and back. You always take a few seconds break. And, up, and straight back to it. Next one to the back, doing the decline, uh, bed press, floor press. So think about our heels, our feet are staying on the ground, our bum and back are in the air, shoulders are on the ground, and we're pressing. So we bring those out triceps close to the body. We don't that too far out. Ooh, five seconds, and I'm not in position. Nice. Press. Nice and slow on the way down. And hold for a second and push up fast. So nice and slow on the way down. Hold. Push up fast. When pushing up fast, I want you to think and squeeze that chest muscle. Let me see. Nice. Next we have the Arnold press. The Arnold press is too challenging to try and do normal shoulder press. If that's too challenging, do single shoulder press one at a time. We get stronger and stronger and take a rest when you need it and get back to it. So you can't do that, just do normal shoulder press, or do one shoulder press. Okay, I've lost my, lost my positioning. This keeps up. So it's a nice angle. It's tough this. Oh, it's tough. That is tough, tough, tough. Good to hear. A little break in between there. I want two second rest. And back to it. This is good. Okay, next, with the dumbbell press up, or do normal press up, or kneeling press up. You see there's way to progress now with the dumbbell. Or you get some cans. I don't know if you're having cans, you'll be able to do that press up, but <laughs> you might have to use the floor. Yeah, so if you've got equipment which aren't dumbbells, you may just want to do normal press ups. Or if you want to make it challenging, get a normal bench. You can do incline or decline, make it more challenging or easier. Use your knees. I mean, whew, that's done. It's not easier still, but it's a way of developing the same. Muscles, which more target those muscles, and then eventually, when you get stronger, you'll be able to progress and progress, and that's what the goal is. Okay, 
And the last one's going to be hammer curl. And then we are halfway to the workout. So when you actually think about it, this is a 20 minute workout. And normally when you're in the gym or doing a session, you may warm up for 10 minutes, cool down for 10 minutes, and the solid period of the workout is only 20 30 minutes. And I thought by putting a timer towards it, it's really good. So there's no phone breaks, it's just folding along, keeping with the timer. Keep me the time, I have to quickly change over my camera. The camera doesn't do over 12 minutes. So halfway through the workout, well done everyone. We're doing exactly the same thing. We're doing exactly the same. It's gonna get tough. The muscle's gonna feel it. Take that little extra rest when you need. And get straight back to it. In three seconds, we're going back to the lap row. Really rowing, there's elbows, there's elbows right into the back. Sometimes it's very normal, first time you do it, you're like, where the hell am I feeling this? But think about that back muscle, that mat muscle on the side, which is activating, you will feel it every time. We're not, we're, the back is in hit workouts, you can't work the back as much. Um, and with weight workouts, you can raise really your back, which will help, really help with posture. So many things are so important to strengthen the back efficiently, effectively. Um, hence why that rose is my first exercise on the list. Okay, decline. Pitch press. But it's technically a floor press, and he stops it, bench. This gives up. Think about guys, elbows close to the body. Nice. The challenge is putting the, after that putting the dumbbells down on the floor. It's quite heavy and quite bad for the wrist. So please make sure you do that in a safe way. I don't want any hands breaking. Okay, next we have the Arnold press. This is gonna be a touch challenge. So you need to take a little one second rest in between the 30 seconds. Please do. Let's just finish it. Next, and we're going next. We're going to press up, dumbbell press up, press up, knee and press up, cam press up, <laughs> not cam press up. It'd be impressive if you could. Okay. Again, especially if you're doing dumbbell press up, I don't want your back being too low. I want it to be straight. Engage the core, which will help you. But don't drop the bum. Last few. Ooh. So it's very easy doing a press up that your bum just flops to help you. But it's actually, you want to keep that back nice and straight. Engaging that core really helps you 
helps you uh, keep that back nice and secure. Next, we have the hammer curl. Knee hammer. Finishing off this bicep, and that's our third round complete after this. Then we have five minutes left. It's felt a lot longer, but it feels like a very effective workout I've done today. Nice. I'm in the mood. I'm in the. I'm in the focus. I'm focused. We have five minutes left. It's easy. It's so easy to switch off now and say, I'm done. A few rounds is enough. Let's do one more round. Let's five more minutes. Let's finish this workout together. We've all been there. We've all wanted to finish the workout early, but we can still give 100%. Let's do this. Keep working those elbows right into the back. Nice. On the ground. Four exercises left. Get your breath. Let's get in position. Okay, bum off the ground, no back off the ground, shoulders and head are staying on the ground, keep those feet nice and planted, nice and slow the way down, pause, up, pause, up, up, let's keep this up. Nice. So you're putting those dumbbells down nice and slowly in a safe manner. Up we go. Three exercises left. Arnold press. It's going to be tough. I'm ready. Alright, I'm ready. Let's do this. Squeezing that chest on the way up, nice and slow on the way down. Squeeze. A few more. Nice. One more left. One exercise left. And it's a hammer curl. See? It's not a hit workout. And sweaty. My muscles feel good. 
Feel done. Health body. That's what it's all about. Incorporating the timer into this. Because I know me, I don't know about you, but during these rests, I would have been on my phone sometimes. And so, uh, not all the time, but there's one time I'm on my phone, and then it goes to like three minutes. And this really helps with discipline, helps you stay focused for a period of time. Last few. Can we get three more? Two. One. Nice. Really great job. I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy with that workout. 20 minutes. That's all it takes in my body. My body feels like it's had a solid workout. I need that water. I'm gonna make sure we cool down, do some static stretches. Stretch the, the triceps, the shoulders, the chest. Just do some static stretching to cool it down. You'll feel a lot better afterwards, but I'm sure you'll feel great after this workout. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have an awesome day.